It's a bit of a rainy day here at the here at the workshop, so I decided to rummage through, and I I come across this um, little project I started a couple of years ago. It's basically it's my concept of a, a steady rest for the um, for the Hercus lathe. I've um, had a bit of bit of difficulty finding um, the original an original for it. Um, you know they're, they're quite an old lathe, so it's 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 difficult to find find original parts. But it's um, I, th I think it'll work. Um, probably my first port of call is to get the flap disc out. As I say, it's been sitting for a couple of years now, so I'll get the flapper out. We'll give it all a bit of a clean up, take all this surface rust off, so it's a bit a bit nicer to work with. And um, we'll have a look at it again. All right, so that's that's it cleaned up a little bit with the, the flap wheel. But that sort of gives you gives you a bit of an overview of the the concept. Um, each of these has got a ball bearing in the end there as a roller. Um, basically, it's a piece of um, solid square tube inside a uh, solid square bar inside square tube, um, which has some threads running through it, which is adjusted by these knobs on the end. I'll take one apart and give you a closer look at that. But yeah, that's basically how it looks. She's a bit rough, but um, I think it'll work. So I'll put one of these apart and give you a closer look at, at sort of how it works internally. All right, so as you can see, this is a piece of solid bar. Drilled and tapped a hole in the end there. That's the ball bearing mounted up in the in the top there for our running surface. Inside here is a piece of oil thread and that's retained down the bottom there. I'm sure we'll get some light on it for you. Um, it's retained in the bottom there with a nut. Um, and that just spins freely inside the tube and that allows the um, that allows this piece to, to move in and out according to whatever adjustment you need. So I think what we'll do now is we'll um, make sure our measurements are right. We'll get it all all tacked together. Another thing I need to do is to drill drill a hole through there and through the um, square tube itself. And what I want to do is put um, weld a nut on there, and so so that a bolt can pass through through the square tube and touch onto our solid square bar. Um, once we've got it in position, adjusted to hold our, our workpiece, I want to then be able to lock it off with um, with a, a nut uh, with a bolt through that captivated nut at the top that's welded in on the face there. Um, just to lock everything in, so I'll get all that set up and marked out, and we'll um, we'll go and drill some holes. Okay, so that's, that's our pieces tacked in. Just a 
hold it all all in place. I think what we'll do now is we'll take it over to the lathe and we'll we'll fit it up, make sure everything's in line and as as we want it before we do any more welding. So we'll go and have a look at that. Okay, well that's that's it mounted up. Just got a plate in underneath it there, which wedges up underneath the bed. I've got another plate on the bottom which sits into the V. As I say, it's all basically just tacked together at the moment, but that's that's an idea of the concept. Um, as you can see, there's a little bit of movement in the um, in the fingers that come out. So I think if we um, drill drill through there and through the tube and weld on a nut to allow us to um, to put a bolt right through to to capture capture the solid bar on the inside I think that'll that'll give us the rigidity we need but that's that's the proof of proof of concept there so I think we'll want to drill some holes and find some bolts and nuts well, anyone that's got a workshop knows that you've got to have at least one or two random biscuit tins full of miscellaneous nuts and bolts. So I'm just having a bit of a rummage through. I did find these left over from something else. So I've got some bolts but I can't find any any nuts. So I'm gonna have a bit of a rummage through my little little tins there. So we can see what we can come up with. Usually manage to find something to fit. Do a bit more rummaging and I'll bring you back when I find something. Alright, so after a bit of rummaging around, I managed to find three M8 nuts to go on our M8 bolts. So what I'll do now is I'll I'll take the um, take the inserts out one at a time and drill them in about 8.5 mil. Just give a little bit of clearance there. Um, I'll do them one at a time because basically they're they're matched to their tubes. So um, I'll do that, get them set up in the get the drill press set up, and we'll drill some holes. All right, we've got our 8.5 mil drill bit in. Drill on through.
upset. Okay, so we've got our, our nuts welded on and our bolts. Just screw down in there nicely. It's getting a bit dark down here at the workshop. The sun's gone down. So I might end this video here. We'll call this part one. Um, I think the next thing to do would be to weld out these joints all around basically everything's just tacked together at the moment so we'll weld out all the joints all around um, make sure everything's lined up and as we want it then we'll move on to part two thanks for watching